to me. Yeah, I did, didn't I? You look real scared. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. Today, we talk about a game suited for the Xbox Series X and is not playable on last-gen Xbox One consoles, the medium. The one thing I truly hate is horror movies, horror themes, and puzzles. This game has both, so I'm in Hello? for a ride. Scary elements are done so well in gaming today that it truly rivals films which are hard for me to watch as well. The one thing that led me to play this game is a sheer curiosity as the story looks so well done and the game itself uses the two worlds interacting at the same time with a simultaneous dual reality gameplay. The medium was developed and released by Blooper Team. This small studio truly has done amazing things with their take on psychological thrill rides and, of course, the Blair Witch Project. Originally announced for the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and the Wii U, the developers later opt for better technology in order to see their vision come to life without visual sacrifice. Missing the next generation completely, Blooper Team opt for a new powerful and current generation with the Xbox Series X and S and Microsoft Windows. The story involves multiple characters throughout the game that you are able to control with the main heroine, Marianne. Marianne, who seems to have special powers, just buried her adoptive father, Jack, and also showed how she is able to say goodbye to him in the present light reality and in the dark world reality as well. She later receives a phone call from a Thomas who knows about her powers and needs her to fix something that only she can do. Curious, Marianne leaves to find out what Thomas is all about. During her journey, Hello? she unravels clues so everywhere about the past characters and what they mean and what they are to Marianne. Right. Ah, sunflower weary of time. For my favorite nurse. Oh, Mr. Tarkovsky, you shouldn't have. Please, it's the least I can do for all the good work you do around here. Well, if he's still around... I've got an infestation to report. Marianne! Uh, I feel... Oh, uh, I don't think we should be here. It's okay, Sadness. Look, there's no one... here. Sadness? The story is a bit slow paced as you solve puzzles in order to progress. The puzzles become more complex as you move on and learn more about the powers of a medium. The story moves back and forth through characters to understand the full scope of the danger in question and is the best part of the game as the player unravels and pieces together what exactly is going on. Marianne truly becomes more aware of herself and become stronger because of it, making her journey more about her own discovery that much more important. The atmosphere is excellent between the two worlds, leaving the player many options to play with in solving puzzles, but at the same time, cautious at every corner. The visuals here are your standard affair, but the design in the dark world is especially well done and well crafted within the present world. With the camera angles being static, like older Resident Evil games, you will always tread cautiously that also slows the gameplay down due to the scary atmosphere. It is also suggested that the player play with headphones to push the anxiety with the sound effects and music, and I can say they achieved that level as well. I literally had to take breaks in between gameplay. The gameplay reminds of an old point-and-click adventure games where you investigate the room for clues and then move on to the next room. Very reminiscent to those adventure games, but with a huge bump in visuals. Unfortunately, the Series S will not have ray tracing, where the Series X does in fact incorporate ray tracing in throughout the game. The game is a bit on a short side, lasting just about 10 hours, but truly depends how you investigate and travel throughout the game. I myself was maybe too careful around corners, and when I needed to repeat because of certain death, blasted my way through. 
The game does a stellar job in inviting you into the horrific environment to keep coming back and trying to find out what comes next. What truly takes away from the game is that the first half, while you are learning the ropes, seems a bit sluggish on the story, but really ramps up towards the end. The pacing could have been spaced out better for a more balanced journey in the end. The Medium gets an 8.0 out of 10 for its fantastic and engaging story and the usage of split screens between worlds truly bring another dynamic to the gameplay and puzzles. The game does falter with its slow pacing especially in the beginning and could have been more balanced out throughout. That's it for this look on the medium on the Xbox Series X. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. Yeah.